Hello viewers. So I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about this, but a couple months ago, Feiyu Tech contacted me about a new camera that they were going to be releasing. They asked me if I'd like to test it. I said, hell yes. All I know is that they told me that there were going to be two versions, a Feiyu Tech Pocket 2 and a Feiyu Tech Pocket 2S. I don't actually have this new device, but I do have videos, photos, and I've been doing some research. And shout out to Louis Ness. He sent me some links with some further information. So let's get started with the video. Now one of the devices, the Feiyu Tech Pocket 2S, is kind of weird. It's a detachable gimbal head. Now I've mentioned before on this channel, I think I might have coined the term detachable gimbal head. Number one on my list of requirements is removable gimbal heads. Okay, this thing, don't laugh. Why are you laughing? But it's not really what I envisioned when I thought of detachable gimbal head. It's got this cable thing that you connect from the remote control, which is the gimbal body, up to the actual gimbal head. And you can mount that because it's magnetic, so it mounts back on the top of the device. And it also can mount on anything magnetic, which in theory is a good idea. I mean, I'd love to test this thing and see what it's capable of. But I'm more interested in the camera specs, which are kind of hard to find. While I applaud Feiyu Tech for actually innovating and trying to create new cameras, because that's what we need in this industry, it's kind of weird to have this like cable attachment between the two gimbal heads and I mean some people might like that but So that is the Feiyu Pocket S and you can see the cable that connects the gimbal head to the actual body which would allow you to mount it in all different kinds of positions since it's magnetic. We'll have to see how this actually works in practice. Now there's also a second Feiyu Tech Pocket which is just called the Feiyu Tech Pocket 2 and that's not detachable and I don't know why they named it almost exactly the same as the DJI Pocket 2 but maybe they should be a little bit more unique and create like their own brand name but whatever at least they're trying right so so this Feiyu Pocket 2 shoots 4k 60 and I believe the old Feiyu Tech Pocket 1 also shot 4k 60 so let's hope the sensor is not exactly but let's go into some of the specs. <music> So the Feiyu Tech Pocket 2 and the 2S are allegedly going to have a 12 millimeter wide lens. And I think that crops into 18 millimeters, which is what I could see on their spec sheet. And then back up to 24 millimeters, I think it is. It could be 22, but I think it's 24 millimeter. So that's going to be ultra wide, a 12 millimeter lens. You know, I'm not sure about the camera quality of that particular lens. It looks pretty similar to their last one, which is unfortunate. If they're not going to improve the sensor size, then what's the point, right? Beyond the DJI Pocket 2, 20 millimeter do-it-all handle, external microphone. How's it looking compared to that Sony A7S III that I just used? By the way, I spilt a lot of water on my desk last night. The DJI Pocket 2 was on the desk, the Fimi Palm 2 was on the desk, and the Sony A7S III were on the desk. Fortunately for me, the DJI Pocket 2 and the Fimi Palm 2 formed a barrier against the water getting to the Sony A7S III. So I hope this thing's still working, but... Now the cameras will also have 4K 60, which I think is the same as the previous one. They do 4K time lapse, and they also have built-in Wi-Fi, so you connect your phone to the particular device. DJI, you're listening. It also has a built-in speaker, so you don't need to buy any accessories, unlike the DJI Pocket 2, where you need the do-it-all handle. So that's pretty good. I also did notice that there was an attachment that allowed you, I think, to mount an external microphone. I've put an image on the screen. So there are going to be some accessories, which does suck in many ways. But now the Pocket 2S has that detachable cable system, and I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. You could mount it on the side of your car, you could put it on top of a motorcycle helmet, and you can control it remotely. But there is an issue with micro vibrations with those small gimbals. And that's been the case with the DJI Pocket. If you had mounted it on something, especially something with a lot of vibration, your footage wouldn't be unusable. So I'm not sure what Feiyu Tech have done. Maybe this thing's really strong, but usually the bigger gimbals handle those situations much better. So we'll see what those micro vibrations do to your footage, but maybe they've tested this. The cool thing is you could put it on the end of a selfie stick and get some cool crane shots, jib shots. You know, there are some benefits to the system, but it's a pity they didn't use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth for the disconnection. So you could put it almost anywhere, control it remotely, which I think you could do anyway with the app and the whole device itself. Now as for tracking, there's a promotional video where a lady's walking and she sticks a milkshake in front of the camera and continuously tracks her face. I'm a little skeptical about that happening, but you know, the face tracking's always been pretty good on the Fimi Palm and I think they might be using the same kind of technology. Feiyu Tech, if you're listening, please allow us to track objects. Now, I did see another image where it looked like object tracking was enabled and supported. So let's see how that goes. And I'd love to get my hands on one of these things and actually test that out. As for some actual specs, I'm just going to read a few things. Ultra lightweight, easy to monitor, extension cord connected to the handle. It can be handheld or worn. It's versatile. Magnetic base can be sucked and buckled. Not sure what that means. This is translated from Chinese. Maybe that's why this makes no sense. 130 degree super wide angle field of view. It's got a joystick built in. Support external extension microphone. So it does support an external microphone. 
built-in speaker sound and picture playback 4k 60 ultra high definition maximum 120 megabit stream i think there's an hdmi port on this thing so i guess you could output this to a monitor or something i'm not sure 4k picture four times electronic zoom it's got a large touch screen i guess with three hours battery life maximum support 512 memory card built-in wi-fi remote monitoring and control is more convenient translated from chinese the app itself will probably allow you to move the gimbal head around which might be useful in certain situations but the main selling point of this camera is the mountability of the gimbal head not sure i like the cable design but we'll see what the app can do with wi-fi now since these camera companies never listen to me, I've made a really basic segment for them to help them design the perfect camera, especially the small one inch sensor camera. It's called Win, Fail or Firing Squad. Let's get started. John, why don't you read the first one? Sure, the first one is built-in speaker or microphone jack. Built-in speaker or microphone jack, yes, that's a, that's a win right there. We don't like accessories, that's a win. Okay, the next option is removable gimbal head. Removable gimbal head. That's actually a win. Next one. Then we have removable gimbal head connected by a cable. Removable gimbal head with the cord. That's a fail. What's the next one? Keeping the sensor the same size. Wait, what? Make the sensor the same size. Same sensor as before? <laughs> that's a firing squad right there. And your friend. Yeah, run. Don't ever come back to the show. What about removable battery? Removable battery, that's a total win. Camera companies need to do that. Next. The one inch sensor. One inch sensor, a massive win. Camera companies need to add a one inch sensor onto these small gimbal cameras, as well as the action cameras. Buying excessive accessories for the camera. Buying tons of accessories. Total fail, almost firing squad. We don't like buying accessories. So what do you think of this new Fayetech camera with the cable and the one without the cable? I'm not too sure yet. I'll leave some links in the description of some of the stuff that they're doing. I, be I believe it's on Indiegogo at the moment, so it hasn't yet been released. But if you speak to anyone at Fayu Tech, tell them how to guys sent you. Maybe they'll send me one of those cameras so I can test it out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get rid of subscribers. And yet I keep getting more subscribers. But see you again next time. Leave a like, leave a comment. What do you think of this new camera system? Will you be investing your hard-earned cash into Fayu Tech? Or should you run far away? See you again next time.